Hey guys, so as promised on my Instagram, today I am going to be speaking about my experience with sterile water injections. So before we start, I want to explain what sterile water injections are. Essentially, they're a pain relief option in early labor or even established labor, um, and they're said to help with back pain. So what it entails is two injections in your lower back, uh, intracutaneously, so just at the skin level. And what are in these injections are 0.1 to 0.5 mils of sterile water. So sterile water injections work off this thing called pain gate control theory. Um, and I've read a lot about it to try and understand the concept. And from what I've interpreted, it is that pain doesn't instantaneously go to your brain, that there are gates. And when you have non-painful stimulus, you can sometimes suppress or delay. For example, if you hurt your leg and you rub it, the pain becomes suppressed but you're not necessarily changing anything. You're not changing the wound. You're not having pain relief, but just that act of rubbing helps ease it. This is why I think things like acupressure can be particularly helpful in birth. But essentially when these blebs are inserted, they provide this sort of pressure sensation that does block the pain. Now I want to tell you how this came about. So my educator was giving an in-service on these injections and I jokingly said that oh I'll volunteer I'll give it a go knowing that I'd heard a lot about how painful it is. I've administered it to women before and they have given quite a vocal response. Um, so I joked about it and then I thought you know what I would actually really like to know what it's like so that when I'm giving this to women as an option for pain relief I can also state that I have had it and experienced it. So I think the hardest thing about actually getting sterile water injections was the anticipation. Um, I was very nervous, I was very scared and what was interesting is when I show you the video of it, there was actually a student midwife there, like holding my hands, distracting me. And she was asking me like, if you came to my house, what would you cook for dinner? And I was almost like frustrated at her for asking me these questions while I was trying to like brace for these injections. But you know what? It really taught me a valuable lesson in like that really got my mind off it and made me think about something different which made the whole process a lot easier so if anything it's given me this value to my midwifery career and helping women in labor by um, just making conversation that can be distracting generally you would give this to a woman during a contraction who is experiencing a lot of back pain um, so that the actual needle during the contraction hopefully wouldn't hurt too much the actual needles going in didn't hurt at all barely felt like a scratch they didn't bother me at all and, but then as the sterile water was injected I did start to feel like this stinging sensation that kind of built um, like I would say like a bull ant or a, yeah, a bee sting or wasp sting like they say so it kind of built and built but it was very manageable. I think like out of 10, I would have said maybe it was a four, but like that being said, I have a tattoo and I've dislocated my kneecap. So I've had different like pain things happen. To me, it was definitely more the fear of getting it done. That was so much worse. Um, so what strangely happened, like I had an appointment straight after I'd done this demo. So then I was sitting in the appointment and I did kind of have a moment where it was quite intense and I was like, Ooh, like the pain but again it was still nothing that I wanted to scream about definitely not as bad as stubbing your toe um, and then what I noticed is the effect I would say lasted for about two hours and it was as if someone was massaging my back or like putting pressure on my back I really enjoyed it I think it was a very nice sensation yeah it was quite pleasant and I can see how it would work one thing that I love to do with women when they're contracting and obviously if they're up for it is um, give a really firm massage on their lower back generally between the dimples um, to really help and that seems to relieve that pressure for women during contractions so I imagine this would work in the same way I think I would try and manage like the psychological nature before I gave it saying like I know this is, seems really scary but again now I'm able to say I've done it it wasn't that bad because that that definitely was what was worse so I'll show you the video now and um, and you can have a little look what the experience was like can you see the dimple? yeah yes, yes. Yeah. So you squeeze my hand basically you can do it in here so I'll usually do it here I like a woman in labour if you're coming if you've got okay. okay. so you can usually got gloves on okay yeah so okay. you can see the bevel so the bevel yeah, yeah. Um, okay. okay so you're almost 15 degrees so you almost parallel you're going in and you've got to think um, uh, to me I think okay. you see the needle 
Um, yes. On the surface going in, that's where you're going to make the most of it. Perfect. Okay. okay. Tyler, we're going, just going to go in now. Okay, a little skin prick. Okay. So what would we cook in it? Um, I would cook... Oh! Okay. What would you cook me? Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, one, yeah. two, and okay. when we, I say one, two, three, we press it in together quickly. Okay. Quickly. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Mine didn't bleed either. I went in too deep as well. Did it go? <gasps> Did it hurt? Did it hurt? Tyler. I mean, <laughs> did it hurt? It definitely feels like a bee sting. <laughs> yeah, okay, so not too bad. I think my I hands are bruised. the last thing too. The other two times it bled up like... Really Ultimately though, this is now something that I am going to recommend to women in early labour. I think it's great. No harms for the women, no harm for baby. Um, I think it's just a great option to try something to keep in your toolkit to use. I know a lot of women don't go for that second set of sterile water injections. But sometimes it can just be enough to get them relaxed and get them through another couple of hours. Um, if you have any questions about sterile water injections or any other questions about my experience, just leave them below and I'll answer. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Any other suggestions about videos, let me know. And I will see you in the next video.